Welcome to your doom. Shut it and get up here. <laughs> Massive <laughs> uppercut! <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of The Jab Jab Show. Today I'm reviewing the movie Arrival. This is directed by Dennis Villeneuve, who's directed films like Enemy, Prisoners and Sicario. Uh, uh, This stars Amy Adams, Jeremy Morena and Forrest Whitaker. So the story is Amy Adams plays Louise Banks, who's this lecturer in linguistics. Uh, She's at college, given a a class one day, and very very quickly she's alerted to news reports of the arrival. Uh, Several, you know, lots of news footage of the arrival of several uh, spacecraft dotted about the Earth. There's 12 of them all, you know, like 20 foot or so off the ground. A massive kind of sideways bowl kind of shape to them. Um, And, you know, I'd say she's watching this uh, play out. Uh, the class is then dismissed. Uh, there's a bit of st- a bit of panic, to be honest. Uh, shortly afterwards, she's then recruited by uh, you know we- a guy called Webber, who's this like, U.S. Army colonel. Uh, you know she's she's kind of tasked to find out what they want because she's got an expertise in like translations and linguistics and so forth. So as is, so this is like you know extraterrestrial like, antics and you. I'm a big fan of Dennis Villeneuve. I mean, everything I've seen of his, I've really liked. So when I heard about this one, yeah, I was really excited to watch it. I really anticipated it. Um, this movie does open very strongly, very bold as well. It just like, without spoiling anything, I don't really want to spoil anything. But you know, it, the opening to this film it does remind me a lot like Up. I mean, the Pixar one, not the Ross Meyer one, which is very different from the Pixar one. So the film follows Louise Banks as she teams up with Ian Donnelly, who's played by Jeremy Morena, uh, who's some kind of physicist as they go about their business, you know, doing what they're doing. Uh, though it's through her eyes we experience things as they happen. It becomes apparent early on that this film's not really going to play it like an Independence Day sequel. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's more cerebral, like, I'm not, like thinking it's an alien invasion film. I feel this is a story really well told. There's no scenes or moment that feel unnecessary. Uh, the narrative and you know it's all progressing nicely and you know some really great direction here and you know it, it lets the film uh, kind of like breathe when you feel it needs to just uh, take stock of certain moments where say for instance like Louise is going off into the um, spacecraft in, and she's touching the uh, surface of it for the first time and when she experiences the the kind of internal gravity within spacecraft I mean you, you know you gotta see it just to understand what I mean but you know when it when it shows when it shows these moments it just it just allows you know this is this is the moment you know that kind of that kind of thing and much like in let's say in the Back to the Future 2 uh, where Mike McFly um, puts the almanac into the bin and you know to burn it but he just it just he just pauses for a moment to say this is a big deal this will change, you know, every, you know, lots of things within within the within the narrative and whatever. This is a big moment and stuff. So uh, he just kind of stays there for a moment, and then you know, he obviously you know, he lights a lights a match and burns it and so on. But it's like that. There are moments where the film knows its importance of of what it's saying. You know, it just it just allows it to breathe, which is it's just really nice filmmaking. So Louise is communicating with these aliens who refer to as heptopods, as they got seven limbs. Uh, she's using different approaches in order to uh, try and get into their same wavelength, just to make sure that they understand one another and so forth. Um, you know, I feel these moments. Uh, you know, I felt they were kind of like mixed with uh, tension and fascination. You know, I felt the uh, the realization of these aliens and uh, their form of communication very unique. So over time, she gets them to understand more and more complex phrases, and in doing so, this triggers off now and again like memories of like you know as she's teaching her daughter similar things uh you know she has a lot of trouble uh, dealing with these moments and it's really well played out you know there's a lot of subtleties there we you know with the audio some of the audio di- and the dialogue out- overlapping each other scene amy adams gives an awesome performance here you know there's a range of things going on like she's got a sense of awe about her and like an air of sadness she's uh physically emotionally drained a lot of the time but all- above all she's she's very pragmatic i mean i love how she uh you know she's thinking about different ways of how to communicate uh, with the aliens at least she didn't adopt the typical british uh, holiday maker in a foreign country when talking to the aliens she didn't go why are you here jeremy renner is in is also really good in this film he forges a great relationship with uh, louise it, it becomes her emotional crutch uh, i also like forrest Whitaker as well he could have easily become the like like the cliched oh it answers now kind of angry colonel but he, you know he's a lot, a lot more grounded uh, and considering the type of sci-fi film this is it's, it kind of works best in the end, I really love this film. 
Uh, I don't want to come across as some kind of wanky intellectual here, but it's, it just feels more, more like an experience more than anything for me. Uh, I've got to be careful what I say now, but you know, there's a, there's a, there's a moment there might be di- might be different times for different people where the movie hints at something different, narratively speaking, and it then makes you reevaluate and take stock of certain events that have happened, you know, early on, and and including that like, Louisa's emotions and actions as well in, in many of the scenes. So all in all, very impressive stuff. Uh, so them's my opinions. What's yours and yours and yours? Everyone, just uh, let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, so like, subscribe, and all the rest of it, and tell your friends and everything. Um, so you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you a question out here. Just what's your favourite alien invasion film? Be it the aliens good or bad. Also, you know, just to let you know, I will be getting onto the movie retrospectives again on my channel. Uh, the past couple of weeks or so, there have been a lot of interesting films coming out of the cinema. Uh, the thing is with this channel, um, depending on when I can get to the cinema, you know, it ebbs and flows. I can I can watch more films one week than, than others and so forth. Also, there might be more releases in certain weeks and so forth. But like I say, I will be getting onto the retrospectives again. There's a couple of them coming up soon, uh, so I'll stop panicking. Um, so, yeah, so... Uh, just, just let me know all the comments, everything down there. And it's just like the new Cyrus says, send the word. Nine, eight, seven, 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 se